Alright, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 7 and get your PC up and running. Begin by powering on your computer. Text should appear on the screen that's basically telling you to insert your boot media into your boot device. In this case, you're going to want to pop open your optical disk drive, toss in your Windows 7 disk, close your optical disk drive, and then press any key to continue. Your computer should recognize the Windows 7 disk in your optical disk drive and begin boot up. Windows will begin loading files, and when it's finished, it will take you to a screen where it will ask you for the language to install, the time and currency format, and the keyboard or input method. Enter the correct information that applies to you and click Next. On the following screen, you are going to want to click Install Now. You will then have to read the Microsoft license terms, as I do here, and decide whether or not you accept the license terms that Microsoft presents. After quickly pondering the matter and thoughtfully thinking about the engrossing information you have just read, you should probably check the box marked I accept the license terms and continue with the installation. On the next screen, you are going to want to click on the custom installation box, and on the following screen, you are going to want to select the hard drive you want to install Windows on. Quickly click on the disk drive options at the bottom right and try and format the drive you have selected. If you have a new hard drive, as I did in my build, then it will most likely be already formatted and you can continue with the installation. Click Next and Windows will begin to install. Now, this may take a while, so feel free to watch some Netflix while Windows does its thing. After a while and a couple of restarts, Windows will greet you with a screen asking for a username and a computer name. Make sure you're satisfied with the username and the computer name you select, and then click Next. Windows will then ask you for a password if you wish to make your computer more secure, but I chose to skip this step and click Next. Windows will then ask you for your product key, but I recommend skipping this step for now. You can only use your product key once, so I recommend making sure Windows is properly installed and working before entering your product key. You can always enter your product key after the installation. Click Skip for now and on the next screen select Use Recommended Settings. Then enter your date and time and you will finally be into Windows. The first thing you are going to want to do is insert the disk drivers and utilities DVD that came with your motherboard. Then install the LAN driver that will allow you to connect to the internet with your ethernet cable. Once you have the driver installed and you are connected to the internet, Hop on Internet Explorer and download Google Chrome. Launch Chrome, sign in, and then download your graphics card drivers for your specific version of Windows. Reboot your machine once the graphics card drivers have installed, and your computer should now be taking up the full screen of your monitor. Then install the remaining drivers on your disk drivers and utilities DVD that came with your motherboard. I chose to do the complete installation, but you may choose to install only some of the drivers and not all of them. After a while of installing and a couple of restarts, your computer should finally be completely finished. Congratulations! You've built your very own gaming PC. You may now download all of the software you wish in order to play games on your gaming PC, such as Steam and all games you have on your Steam account. When you are installing the games to your computer, I personally recommend that you use the default file location. I tried doing some file management and moving things around, but in the end, my game stopped functioning normally, and I had to do a reinstallation of Windows. Once you have downloaded all your games to their default locations, you have everything working, and you feel confident in your system, you can now enter your Windows product key. To do so, click on the Start button, then click on Control Panel, find System, and at the very bottom of the System window, you can click Change Your Product Key. There, you can enter your product key and authenticate your copy of Windows. Alright, that wraps up this video. Thank you for watching. Remember to enjoy your new gaming PC, and I'll see you next time.